How you doing? It's Big Keeson again, sharing my MS story with you. Now, once I was diagnosed, I was in denial. And I don't mean a light denial. Like, oh, maybe, no. No, they got it wrong. I have an unknown disease that's so rare that they just don't know how to deal with it. Yeah, that's what it is. All these medical professionals, they're wrong. I'm right. They're wrong. And I was in denial. I didn't really want to talk to anybody about it. I let my family know. And I'll talk about how how, how they reacted. But I want to deal with me first. I just didn't know what to say. I, I, I thought it was a death sentence. I thought I'd be in a wheelchair. I thought, and there's nothing wrong with being in a wheelchair. There are plenty of MS warriors in wheelchairs who are fighting their own battles. I thought I would never walk again. I thought I would just be someone that you just feel sorry for. I was, I was just in a sad, sad place. And people don't understand that denial is strong, especially with MS, because it's not something you can see. People look at you and say, oh, you're healthy. Look at you. You're young and spiraling, and look at you, you're spry. And I, I got that a lot. But on the inside, I wasn't. Half my body was not working the way that it's supposed to. And people couldn't understand it. It's hard to share with when people can't really see what's going on. It's a tough journey. And that denial was eating me up. I really had to come to grips that I had multiple sclerosis. And what does that mean? This is Big Keeson sharing my MS story. Next, uh, I'll talk about how my family reacted to me having MS. But with that, it's Big Keeson. And I thank you for listening to my MS story.